Can you believe it's already the middle of summer? As of next week, we're gonna be making the slide back into the school year and getting ready for the fall season to get here. Now, I was actually at CVS today picking up a few things and they were stocking the shelves with Halloween candy, if you can believe that. I was a little surprised, is it still like three and a half months away? But I guess one can never be too prepared. Anyway, I'm Sierra Haskins with the NorCal Life Real Estate Group, and today I'm here in Oroville, California to show you three homes currently on market in different price ranges so you can get an idea of what you can buy in your price bracket here in the area. If you have any questions as we go along, feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to me anytime. All of my contact information is right here in the video description below. For now though, let's go check out this week's homes. The first stop here today is 22 Leslie Lane. This three bedroom, two bath home is 1,332 square feet and it's priced at $359,000. This home has a really interesting layout. It has a definite defined spaces in the house between the kitchen, the living room and the three bedrooms as it's not an open concept home like we see so much of these days. It does have built-in bookcases and a wood burning fireplace in the living room with some big windows for great natural light. But the unique things to this house is that it has what's called an Arizona room between the garage and the house, which is sort of a small enclosed sitting room. It's private and closed off from the outside, but it's its own little room. The other interesting thing is that it has a fully enclosed in-ground pool straight through the single car garage. It's fully cemented around the entire pool, so it'd be perfect for maybe a picnic table or even a couple tables and it has a partially covered roof over the top of the pool. Now, I've never seen one like this before, so I'm really curious to see what you think. Have you ever seen a pool like this? Leave a comment below and let me know what you think of it. Now, let's talk about where this home is located. Leslie Lane is located on the northeast part of town, just a few minutes from the spillway. So if you're into walking, running, maybe biking or boating, this could be a good one for you. There's a convenient 7-Eleven at the very bottom of the street, and we're just a few minutes drive to Oroville High School, the hospital, and about 10 minutes from Highway 70 access. So great home, great spot. All right, let's head off to house number two. Our second home this afternoon is 190 Fairhill Drive, located in the Copley Acres neighborhood. This fully upgraded three bedroom, two bath home is 1,474 square feet and is priced at $415,000. Built in 1989, this home just went through complete updating, all the way from new vinyl plank flooring, quartz countertops, new stainless steel appliances, updated light fixtures, new bathroom vanities, and all fresh interior paint. Honestly, the list just goes on with this home. It's an open floor concept with a big kitchen and vaulted ceilings, which really makes it feel more spacious as well. I love that this home is on almost a quarter acre and it does have a great deck out back that you can sit and enjoy early mornings or evening times, maybe barbecue with friends. And there's a lot of potential to put in raised garden beds if you like to grow fruits and veggies. But one potential drawback to consider is that this lot is quite sloped. So that may or may not be an issue for you to think about. Now let's go over location. Fairhill Drive is on the southeast part of town, about eight to 10 minutes from the heart of town and about the same to Lake Oroville. And Ofer Elementary School is just about five minutes away. So if you don't feel like driving into town, there's a little market on and around the corner and Foothill Meat Company is also right around the corner if you wanna stop in and grab some great stuff for barbecuing on that fantastic back deck. All right, let's check out the last home for today. Mm -hmm. 
The last stop today is here in a gated community at One Thunder Rock Road. This one is a bit bigger than the other two today. It's a brand new build, three bedroom, two and a half bath home that's 2,156 square feet and is priced at $650,000. It has a formal entry area and then an open floor plan with the kitchen overlooking the living room space. It has a really good sized kitchen with lots of storage and a big island with enough space right in the middle that can actually double as a breakfast nook area too. It has huge windows in both the kitchen and the living room space for incredible natural light in this one. The primary bedroom is oversized and really comfortable with a massive walk-in closet for any of you that desire that amount of space. And the primary bath has split vanities with a glass walk-in shower. It is a great house with a three-car garage and RV access. It comes with solar, it has low maintenance landscaping. Now there is an HOA fee of $128 a month and I would be happy to jump on a call with you and talk about what that fee covers and what it doesn't. So as far as location, this one is in a private gated community, which is really a highly desired um, neighborhood for a lot of buyers. It's less than 10 minutes to Oroville Hospital and about 12 minutes or so from downtown Oroville. Lake Oroville is also close for water sports and concerts and live events at the casino are just a short drive too. Now, something to note about this home is that if the layout doesn't quite match what you're looking for, there are others, um, a few other brand new build homes right here in this neighborhood too. So it's definitely something that I would be more than happy to jump on the phone and tell you what other lots are available, what other homes are available, and when they might be move-in ready. So that's it for this week's tour here in Oroville, California. I'm Sierra Haskins with the NorCal Life Real Estate Group. And if you would like to talk with me about buying or selling a home here in Butte County, reach out to me anytime and I would love to see how I can be of help. All of my contact information is right here in the video description below. Be sure to check out more of our weekly videos where we cover three houses each week in Butte County so that you can see what's available on market. You can also head over to our Facebook and Instagram pages where we really cover all things in real estate, community events, hotspots, and more. It's super fun. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week.